Hi guys, so today I wanted to recreate this trend that's on Instagram. I think it's called the invisible wing liner. I'm not too sure, but I wanted to give it a shot. I do have my eyebrows filled in and for my eyebrows, I use the Benefit um, pencil in the shade number four, the thin one, the precisely my brow. So I jumped into the 35R palette and I'm just grabbing any brown shade and I'm just diffusing that all over the crease. I always like to start with a brown shade. I just, it's something that I'm used to. <laughs> Next, I take the 35B palette and I'm taking that light pink shade right there and I'm applying that over top the brown already to start giving it that gradients. I do want to do like a corally smoky eye. Well, not smoky, but like coral all over the lid or like a red all over the lid. So I took that brown shade and I'm applying that right on top of the light pink shade. I'm already starting to give it kind of like the ombre effect. I just wanted it to be like reds and corals all over the eye if that makes any sense <laughs> um so next i'm grabbing the shade right under the orange and i'm grabbing a more detailed brush it's kind of, it's like a fluffy blending brush but it's very 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 thin it's from morphe um let me see if i can find it oh yeah it's right here it is the morphe m562 super detailed a great brush to really get into the crease especially if you want to do any cut crease looks this will really help you define the line on top um, next, I'm going to be taking this red shade right here and I'm going to be applying that all the way from the inner corner to where the tape meets. I mean the tip of the tape meets and I'm going to be buffing that all over the lid kind of like with the same technique that I used in my get ready with me video. If you haven't watched it, I will link it in my description box. It's the last video I uploaded. So yeah, I'm just diffusing it all into the crease and all over the lid, making sure that every part is covered. I'm just taking a clean brush and I'm diffusing out all the outer parts of the shadow to make everything is to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly and then I'm just taking off the tape it did leave a little mark of the corner of the tape towards the inner part of my lid like the middle part and I just grabbed a makeup wipe and erased the little corner mark that I left and the line was completely straight so to trace that line over um, the line of the tape I used the NYX glam liner aqua luxe in the shade number seven I love this stuff it's kind of like a metallic liner it, I don't know if I've ever done a wing with it by itself but I do use it for, like for minor details here and there and it really it looks really pretty it's very foiled so it gives any look a pop of of something um next i'm taking the kat von d uh liner in trooper and i'm just lining my lash band so when i apply my lashes you can't really see the lash band it's just something i do all the time and then next i'm going to be coating my lashes with the maybelline um big shot colossal mascara just the top and i'm just jamming my way out mm -hmm, let's go and then i apply the flutter lashes in the style crazed off camera So next I'm just taking the Vaseline Lip Therapy in the Cocoa Butter scent. This is the only thing that saves my lips when they're like crusty as hell. Um, and then I'm going to use the Too Faced Tangover X Setting Spray. It's prime set and refresh so you can use it as a primer and leaves your face super sticky which is awesome because your foundation will stick even better. For primer I'm using the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer just like on my por porous areas next to my nose, on my nose and forehead. For foundation, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in Y365 um, and I'm using the Morphe G40 brush again because this brush is so so good and I love it um, and I'm just taking whatever's left over on the brush and I'm just buffing that around my nose. I don't like to add product on my nose because my nose gets very very oily so I try to use the least foundation possible around my nose. So I'm just applying that to the side of my face and I'm going to go ahead and buff that out with the same brush and as well on my big ass forehead. So for cream bronze, I'm taking the Cholel, Cholel, the Chanel Tan de Soleil. It's like a little sample of it. And comparing to the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette that I've been using, this is definitely lighter in pigment and it gives you a light bronze um, look, but it's very nice. I liked it a lot. And then I'm going to move on to concealer, of course, Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just applying the light medium shade under in my under in my and my under eyes to cancel out the darkness and then i go over top with the light sand just to brighten it up a little bit my sponge was a little dry so i did spray some of the mario rose water i can't do a look without using that rose water 
guys it's it's really good and i'm just buffing that out in the center of my face my nose and my forehead then i will go in and set the concealer the concealer the concealer down with the laura mercier translucent powder as well as the rest of my face Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm just using the red shade that I applied like all over the lid and the orange shade that I used in the beginning of the video to smoke out my lower lash line. And for bronzer, I am taking the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula with a Morphe M551. Love this brush, super fluffy. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm using the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati in my inner corners and on my brow bone. And after I used this product on top of that Makeup Forever highlighter last video, I had to use it by itself because this stuff is so pretty. It is so pretty. You guys need it in your life. to do that guys i was actually listening to the song like i didn't just play it for the highlight if you haven't listened to the 2000s playlist in apple music it is bomb so i'm just coating my lower lashes with some mascara and then for my lip combo today i used the stripped down mac lip liner a little one because mine is about to give up on me and then i used the dose of colors lip it up satin lipstick in the shade butterscotch in the center and to top it off i used the i love sarai curvy gloss sorry guys i just i love it so much and i've been into gloss lately so i really like how the look turned out i would definitely wear this to like a festival or something like that i'm just it's really fun i really liked doing something like this and i hope you guys did too so i will see you guys and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye